I don't really have anything interesting to talk about today. I mean, I probably could think up a topic if I really wanted to, but I, I don't got one. I have this on my brain and I need to talk about it. I need to air some grievances here because, man, it is hard, this topic. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what you're supposed to do about it, okay? Basically is what I'm trying to say. I'm here to talk about the fact that I cannot, I can't stand explaining my job to strangers. Like, randos, it is so hard. I don't know if this is just like an artist-writer thing, like, it's probably more like an unconventional job problem, but I know like as an, as a writer, as an artist, you always get into these weird situations where you have to explain your job to people and they just don't get it. That's what I'm talking about today. <laughs> you know, like, I'm filled with a this dread every time I am put into the position of explaining my job to a stranger and usually a stranger that like is just so far removed from the circles I run in that they can't even comprehend what I do. Usually I have to explain my job to like doctors and like hairdressers and more doctors like I go to a lot of doctors but like I feel like every time I've tried like a new explanation of what it is that I do and I haven't come any closer to like finding an answer on how to do this. Like usually I either start by saying like I'm a writer, I'm a YouTuber, I do online video if I'm trying to be like obfuscate the fact that I do YouTube. But usually I start by saying I'm a writer, right? And sometimes yeah, sure it goes well, but when it goes well, it goes well in a way that I hate. Like usually if they're like, oh you're a writer, you're a YouTuber, what do you do? What do you write? What do you talk about? And I'm like, oh no. Oh no, I don't want to get into this. And, and yeah, so I hope it doesn't go well. I hope they're just confused. But that's a whole other bag of potatoes that I don't want to be involved with either. Inevitably, right? I tell them I write and they're like, what do you write? I'm like, I write comics. And then they're like, what kind of comics? Worse, worse answer to that is um, they are like, oh, so like superhero comics and stuff. And usually because I'm awkward and I want to leave this conversation, I'm like, yeah, superheroes. At least the conversation gets to end unless they go on some weird tangent and I'm just like, oh my god, I don't know anything about superheroes. How do you know these things? I haven't even seen a Marvel movie and it just falls apart real fast, real quick for me. But if it goes the opposite direction and they're like, oh, what comics? And they don't give me the out of superheroes. Then I have to explain my comics to people. And for me, it's like I have three options that immediately flash in my mind when someone's like, what kind of comics do you do? And I'm like, my brain is just like furry stuff, gay stuff, horror stuff. And I'm like, what? you can't just say that to a rando. Like, they're going to think you're weird. So I kind of only have one option to go with. And I usually just say, I write horror. And, you know... I could also probably say that I write fantasy, I write, you know, not things about murder and death, because that's weird, but if I say horror, I'm likely to scare them off of, like, googling me and asking further questions, which is good. It's like, I don't have to get into, like, some conversation about gays and hear about, like, oh, wow, I have a gay cousin, I'm so proud of you, wow. Or like, are you gay? What's gay? And I'm like, oh no, I don't want to talk about this. I don't, I don't want to. And I definitely don't want to talk about furries with like my doctor or my hairdresser. So I avoid that topic. So I go with horror because most likely end of conversation there. And they're likely never to look me up because unless they're into horror and like all of that stuff, then that's where the conversation ends. If they like it, like maybe I can make a friend or they'll start talking about horror movies or <laughs> start like being like into horror and be like, oh wow, I love horror, like this and this. And I'm like, oh no, it's like Lovecraft. And they're like, oh, Lovecraft, that's great. And I'm like, oh no, I don't know anything about Lovecraft. What am I doing? I'm a failure. I'm a fake. Yeah, it's it's a whole thing if they know horror, but usually they don't. Usually they leave me alone at that point. But I guess like my ultimate fear of this whole endeavor is that one day I'm going to have someone Google me like right in front of me. They're going to be like, oh, you do YouTube? I should look you up so I can find you later. And I'm like, oh, please do not. I will turn into a pedal on the floor 
of embarrassment. Do not, please never watch my YouTube channel, ever. Like, it's, it's so highly unlikely that this is ever going to happen to me. Like, I feel like the most likely occurrence is this is going to be at, like, an office party, and I'm just going to be scared, and everyone is always asking what you do at office parties, or at family reunions, or whatever, and just the panic sets in, and since there's lots of time, and you're supposed to be talking to each other, and engaging with each other's social circle life thing, they're gonna Google me, and it's gonna be terrible. Like, that's my fear. And I don't know if I'm the only one who feels this way. Like, it's so weird, because I love gaining an audience. That's super fun. I love meeting people that like my work. I love talking about my work. I love what I do. But, like, pitching myself to strangers, it just feels so strange, and I just feel such... I feel so weird. I feel like I've come from a whole other planet when I talk to people that I don't know are into comics or not. It's like, I don't want my barista to know that I write comics filled with, like, corpse piles and child murder and, like exploding heads like I don't want to have that discussion I just want my caramel macchiato and I want to leave but at the same time I wouldn't be upset if they already knew me and were like oh my god it's bones I recognize your voice from the YouTubes and, like that would be super cool but like I don't want them to not know me and then know me like <laughs> so weird. And like another part of this fear is that when you have a creative career, it always feels like you're getting like assessed. Like you're all always under like a job interview to see if you're qualified to have the job that you already have. Like you'll say you're a writer and then the interview begins. It's like, okay, you write comics, but are you published with a major publisher? And like, they say it with such, a, they, they phrase it in such a way that it's like, oh no, I am not published with a major publisher. I must be a failure. Even though you know in the back of your head, you're not a failure. This person just doesn't really know how comics work and how you can make money without being traditionally published. But man, it, it starts to get you. And like, then they, like, ask where they can buy your books, and you're like, you don't want my books. You don't know anything about comics. They're like, can I buy your books in stores? And I'm like, yeah, you can buy it on an Etsy store, but I don't think that's what you mean. But, like, if I told them that I have an Etsy store, they wouldn't be impressed, because, like, I'm in this position where they're, like, grilling me, and I'm just, like, feeling smaller and smaller and, and less impressive, even though usually I'm perfectly fine with my life and I enjoy what I do, but it's, like, imposter syndrome is setting in and they are just pushing it deeper and deeper. And, like, in the end, does it really matter to me if my dentist thinks that I'm, like, a cool writer or not? Like, does it actually matter to me that when I say writer, the uh, dentist then kind of puts huge quotation marks around the word writer and like a wink and is like, okay, a writer, wink, wink, unemployed, wink, wink. I mean, no, it doesn't matter, but also it totally does matter. Like, I'd be lying to say that I don't have a bit of a complex about this. I mean, I'm ranting about it right now. Like, I start doing weird things where I chase other people's ideas of what it means to be a writer, rather than doing what's right for me as someone who, like, is active in this career path community thing, and I know more. Like, maybe I should at some point go into the merits of self-publishing versus traditional publishing another day, but man... Self-publishing, sure, makes these conversations, like, even harder and stranger is, like, where I'll leave that at today. So, yeah, that's, like, a little bit of a ramble. Um, thank you <laughs> for enjoying that, I guess, if you enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm actually just a really awkward person. I, I don't know if I come across that way on, on the, the YouTube chats. Like, I feel like my best interactions in public used to be when I was a total freaking nerd. Like, I used to go around town just in a Homestuck hat. Like, I wore, like, the, the Nepeta hat everywhere. Like, I made one, and I, I was just a, a loser. Okay, not that you're a loser, but, like, by society standards, that was me. And surprisingly, I ended up having, like, really good interactions, because people would see the hat and be like, oh, wow, you like Homestuck. 
that's really cool. Did you make that? And then we start talking about web comics and that'd be really cool. And like, as I'm saying this, it sounds like I'm just making up a story. It's like R slash that totally happened or whatever. But like, honestly, when I wore a Nepeta hat, I, I probably should have been harassed, not, not ended up talking to people. Like that doesn't feel like it logically follows, but here, here, that's how it worked out for me. And like, maybe it was kind of because like, I was just so used to being harassed at this point and like bullied that like all the people who were like giving me the, the glares and the weird looks, like I just didn't notice anymore. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe bullying is why I don't trust my hairdresser. I don't know. It's the whole thing, isn't it? Anyways, okay. <laughs> if you're new here, I don't know how you would have found this video. I I'm Bones. I write furry horror comics about gay stuff. And like, I'm right now I'm prepping a Kickstarter for my very first self-published novel. It's about a trans man on a quest to find his heart. And it's going to go live on April 15th. And if you're not new here, sup? Um, are you secretly my hairdresser? <laughs> That's cool if you are. You, you don't have to tell me. Do, do you like this video? Um, do you subscribe because of this video? I don't know. Do you, is this a good video? Guys, I don't know. I just wanted to mix things up. I just didn't want to do writing advice. I'll, I'll keep doing writing advice. Don't worry. I just want to do something different. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys all on the Saturday stream. We're going to do a giveaway um, on Saturday, so make sure to be on the Discord because that's the only way to get your tickets in for the giveaway. We're going to do Drawful for the after party stream, so so if you want in on that, make sure to become a patron. If you become one now, you immediately get access to all the benefits, so no time to wait. Thank you for watching. What is this video? What is my life? Ugh, man. Yeah. <laughs>